Oh god. Oh. I had some trigger and active that shouldn't have been activated yet. Anyways. Do 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 boop. Boom. And boom. Ah, there he goes. All right, so we just finished out with Abazigal, and now apparently we got to go and take care of, uh... Yeah, you started this game having trouble clearing a basement uh, a basement from rats, and in the end, you spotted down Baylor some planetars like they were cobalt. <laughs> yes. Okay, so, uh, just so you're aware, maybe I, I did end up essentially creating a new character. I went through the entirety of uh, one and two all over, so this is a brand new character. And well, this is also for everybody. So it's like brand new character, brand new everything. Um, most of the, mostly the same party, uh, except for one change. I'm not playing, not playing Hexet. I'm playing Yon because Yon is awesome. All right, so I need to take care of some challenges. I think I did this one. Yes, it shall be. But well, let's find out. Yeah, pretty sure I did this one. Yeah, I did this one. Okay. So let's go to this one. <coughs> but anyways, welcome back, Mimi. I am a part of you that once lingered behind every corner within your soul, but now I grow weaker with each passing day. You have cast me aside. I was formed in candle keep in your youth, unaware of your heritage, unaware of the base evil that lurked in your soul. Twas I that kept you safe, that knew your limitations, that you advised you in caution. I am your doubt. Having to search for all the streamers like watching. <laughs> oh, that's always fun. Uh, but you're hyped now? Awesome. Welcome back. Anyways, and uh, I need not be lost forever. You, not, you need not drive me from your heart. Your struggle against the taint of our father has eroded me, but I am not gone yet. You can still reclaim me. Putting aside what I would want... Mm, Putting aside why I would want such a thing as doubt, how is this? How is such a thing even possible? This plane is an exists extension of yourself, as am I. I am yet a voice within you, and I needed to address you, just as you needed to address me. What you decide here has power, though not all decisions are conscious ones. Were you, uh, were you to decide to restore me, it would be so. Once you were innocent of power, of murder, uh, of all things dark and tainted, with but a word, all could be restored. You would again be the boy you were in Candle Keep. And, uh, and what would become of all the knowledge I have gained? Uh, and what would become of all the knowledge I have gained? What of the good things? Gone. They must be sacrificed so that the uh, cloak may be returned back. So that I may be reclaimed. Do you understand? No, I don't. Why is my doubt so important? Without limitations to act as the walls of your world, you are adrift in the void. You stumble about blind. You... You grasp behind, beyond your reach. Doubt defiles limitation. You who are of, the, of divine heritage have an even greater need of me. Without doubt, how far will your power grow? When will the lust for it end? What shall be destroyed in your wake? 
what shall you become? And doubt is the wall that holds back the taint that you struggle to master. Without me, it would overwhelm you. Without me, you threaten everything, including yourself. Do you understand now? I believe so. And then let us uh, re then let us return to a time when I could keep you safe. Reclaim me, Z. Uh, cast off your uh, tribulations and let us both be born anew. There is no going back to what has already passed. What you offer is no answer. I see. So there is no room for doubt in the heart of an immortal. <coughs> That's not what I meant. Such as such, such is as it was meant to be. Without, with all doubt removed, the path to which is uh, which is immortal within you lies one step closer. Face it, if you dare. Huh. Uh, uh, uh. What is my task? Go for the eyes, boo. Go for the uh, eyes, uh, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Yes. You got this, girl. Heal him up. Take a fast Dangerous mistake. Nature's servant awaits. Oh. Oh. Do 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 yes. do 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 do. Um. What does smite do? Uh, with the smite ability, the warrior gains the ability to strike a mighty blow, knocking an opponent back for a considerable uh, dis uh, distance and stunning the opponent for one round. All attacks made in the first round are critical hits. Good God. What can I do? You like my group? Yes, I love my group. I punch. What is my task? Boom. Got it. On my honor, consider it done. Hopefully I didn't screw that one up. Do, 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 do. Yes. Um, couple of these. What is my task? I will do okay. my best. We still got this one. We'll probably end up getting this one after Balthazar. We're still in chapter nine, right? Yeah, we're still in chapter nine. We haven't reached chapter. And yet. All right, what do you got for us? Uh. Greetings, offspring of my Siric. old foe. It's time we spoke, you and I. But first, let's make sure we're not bothered by any of your so-called friends. This is a private matter. It's a god? Oh. Now then, let's get trivial matters out of the way first. 
Do you know who I am? Yes, you're Sirik, reigning god of murder. Yes, <laughs> you you would know, wouldn't you? I am indeed Sirik, god of murder as well as strife, lies, and illusion, amongst other things we needn't get into. Most recently, I've reco uh, recovered from a little bout of madness. Not that that's important to you, only to find that uh, seedlings of the former holder of my office everywhere, like weeds. It's D&D &D lore. I should have known that. In all honesty, I should have known that. Uh, I am a DM after all, so... <laughs> I gotta have this knowledge, guys. Anyways, <clears throat> there's only a bare few of the spawn left now, of course, like you. I'm not convinced you've the uh, temperament or desire for the office of murder, but one can never be too sure. You can imagine my concern. How do you know you're... Mm, how do I know you're Syric? You sure don't look like a god. As opposed to what? Some grisly avatar like the Slayer? A cloud of smoke? A massive face in the sky with a booming voice. <laughs> I am only here to talk, to gauge your threat to me, if any. If I were a threat to you, why wouldn't you just kill me? Uh, if only things were so easy as that. But if I get involved in the whole ball spawn mess, then my own opponents amongst the gods would intervene. Mistra or Kellenbor, perhaps. And it seems that Ao, the Overfather, has an interest in this as well. Which is very odd. He wishes this little climactic end for the Baalspawn to play itself out without interference from the rest of us. And so I, the Great Cyric, am restricted to watching and observing. And yet if there is anyone who should feel threatened by a child of the former Lord of Murder, it is me. There is just no justice anymore. I've been watching your progress for a while. Very impressive. I've formed a few conclusions, but let's hear it from the horse's mouth. How much should I fear you? You needn't fear me. I have no designs on becoming the god of murder. I see. I would have expected you to say as much. <sighs> Who could have expected that this level of the abyss, this throne of Baal, would give me such problems? Hmm. If only I could have destroyed it to begin with. But why didn't you just take it over then? When you became when you became Lord of Murder? I didn't need it. I didn't want it. I have my own plane in Pandemonium, thank you very much. Oh god, it's Pandemonium. Oh, that place is crazy. But obviously, I should have paid more attention to this dismal place. But it's no matter. You can't undo what's already been done. And if you try, well, that leads to all sorts of different problems. And I'd rather not open that bag of worms once again. As for you... I doubt you'll seek my realm of influence. If you even get that far, that is. I have little desire to see yet another godling who might be a possible opponent. If you even have any power worth noting. He looks pretty cool in-game. Oh. So it's quite obvious that there's a possible chance I may end up fighting this guy. But I can't help but notice his, okay, his voice sounds so familiar. His voice sounds so familiar. Not sure he is a real god. <laughs> okay. I mean, there's plenty of times where people fought other gods, right? <laughs> Anyways, <clears throat> but his voice sounds so familiar. I think you need to be tested. That is what you created these little rooms for, isn't it? To test yourself. Mistra and Ao couldn't fault me for aiding you towards that end, now, could they? 
Perhaps we will meet again. For now, let us see how you do against my favored. I suggest you prepare yourself. On my honor. Yes. Question. Is that all this room was? Or am I actually going to end up fighting someone in this room? Personnel, uh, pers uh, pers uh, uh, personality, Sirik was, um, personally, uh, Sirik was petty, self-centered, and enjoyed manipulating individuals into, uh, ruining or ending their own lives. Oh. Oh, hi, friends. Don't yell. I can hear you just fine. Uh, oh. Don't... Uh. don't yell. I can hear you just fine. Yes? Yes? Yonson, at your service. Yes, yes. Oh, God. It shall be. Don't yell. I can hear you just fine. Yes. Yes. Let your servant awake. Favored by Cyric, uninjured. <laughs> yes, yes, a standard tactic yep. that. You point, I punch. Um, do 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 do. Boom. And then another one of these. Ready and willing. Swords, not words. Where Minsk Run, goes, Minsk. evil stands aside. Minsk and Boo stand. God, that I love that time stop ability. <laughs> yes, consider it done. Aspen are a good servant. Uh, yes, you are a good heroes. servant, Aspen. Are you, you even clean? You even I keep my place clean. And rangers everywhere. Rejoice! <laughs> All right, one room left, guys. <laughs> Yeah, I like Susmanar too. He's probably one of my favorite characters in this. And yet, we don't get to see him until Throne of Ball, which just sucks. Ooh, shiny ones! Susmanar is good servant! Yes, oh, you are. Yes. yes, you are. Anyways.
I will do my best. What is my time? Yes. I'm only demoing, if you don't mind. I suppose, Jahira. What is it you want? How many child's balls are left? Other than Imowen, other than Imowen and I, there's Balthazar. I don't know who else. There may be another one that's like in chapter ten. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. Well, that is just mm, that that um, that is just it, isn't it? You have been so formal to me, so distant. Is there something wrong? I don't. I'm not. Well, actually, I have been a little nervous around you because of well, because of my association with the Harpers. I thought so. Z has suffered at the hands of many groups because of his lineage, and now that you share it, I don't mean to be a stranger, but people will see me differently now. I I just know. Hmm, let me see you. Uh, let them see you however they wish. What can you do but just be yourself? I know that uh, these are only words, but you will be fine. I know. Thanks, though. On my honor. Very well. <sighs> Someone we need to talk to. Think he's in here? You must gather your party before venturing forth. Let's see. I speak your mind if you must. The same in Haverian. I must be cursed to keep running into you. Ah, yes. <laughs> yes, I, I suppose we could rehearse our differences where I uh, mind to, but surrounded by my slaughtered old comrades as I am, I'm hardly in the mood. Oh. I figured you'd be coming back to Amkathra soon enough, and so I waited for you. I have a proposition if you are interested. You've betrayed me constantly, even with those guards. Why should I trust you? I've done only what I've had to in the past. I may owe you for my unfortunate rudeness, perhaps, but overall, you and I are pretty even. But even? You don't think I had much of a choice with all that business and spell hold, did you? And for all my troubles for barging you into the island, uh, uh, bringing you to the island, I ended up losing my best ship. And then there's the business of my poor men here. If it weren't for you and all those other ball spawn, my little smuggling business here could have continued quietly as it was blame me for everything will you you sack of shit ah oh my little smuggling business here oh jeez. as it is i've lost nearly all of my investment and i'm not very happy about it you're not laying on uh You're not laying all your misfortunes at my feet, are you? Did I say that? But you are involved, at least indirectly, whether you had any malicious intent or not. I certainly don't harbor any ill will towards you at all. After all, we could argue about who's done what to whom all day, or maybe less, as I imagine my being chopped, uh, uh, my being chopped to bits might make your argument a little more effective than mine. Regardless, hear me out first. God, this guy can talk. Anyways, I I blame Balthazar, if anything. He's made my life nothing short of difficult. And now he's gone and curtailed me completely. Curtailed? Well, uh, anyways. I had harmed some perfectly innocent people. He's got to pay for that. As I understand it, you've got to get inside the monastery. And I've got a couple of ideas which might, be, which might enable you to do that. Interested? I'll listen to what I, what you have to say. I promise nothing more than that. Now, oh, I knew you were more reasonable than you seemed. All right, then. The best way I can think of to get inside the monastery is through disguise. My men <laughs> Sca scavenged a few uniforms. Brilliant. 
It's enough for you and me to bluff our way past the gate. I I need you to go. Um, I need to go with you naturally. I've done this before, and I know the proper codes to tell them. The best way? What other way is there? Well, the other way is quite dangerous. I wouldn't suggest it, and I couldn't go with you. Balthazar has, uh, warded that route against me. Against me specifically, I mean. Why do you want to go with me? Why do you want to go with me? What do you oh, what do you get out of it? I get to exact revenge on Balthazar. I'm a man with a reputation to uphold, after all. I can't allow slights like this to pass, you know? And besides, I suppose I owe you one. Alright then, if it will get me inside, I'm game for it. Now fine, we'll do that. Double cross me again, Simon. It'll it'll be the last time. Got it? All right, then. Give me a few moments to prepare. Come and talk to me once you're ready to go, all right? Done. Let's go sell first. As you ask. We need to go and sell. Because, uh... But, but, but why? <laughs> Rudes. I had to drop your item on the ground. I can carry no more. Oh, well, I sent him to the wrong person anyways. Something up? What can I do? Time to move? Do 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 do. Gotcha. All right, sir. I got some cheap beer for you. Hold on, I know someone else we can sell better to. Mm. Yes, it shall be. Consider it done. Oh boy, get all the selling done, and then we can get on with our day. I got a lot of, I got a lot of things to sell. I need to empty my bag a bit. We still got a whole damn chapter to get through. Mm. I will do my best. Do, 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 do. Magic resistance, nice. Yes. You know, Jan, I was listening to a story you were telling a little earlier. I thought it was quite fascinating. <laughs> oh, anyway. Oh, so he's going to talk to Jan. This ought to be good. Indeed. Well, I must say I've never looked at goat cheese quite the same way again. And neither did poor Gilbert or any of his cats. Huh. After to uh, after throwing the ball, you feel like okay, Arrhenius, try again in a thousand years. <laughs> okay. Basically, I suppose. And neither will Zircon. The way he was groaning. Your story did remind me of a tale I heard back in Candlekeep, though. Oh, a new story. My my, you've got the uh, tiniest toes and on the mind gnomish feet, wiggling like Aunt Petunia trying to get into her Sunday dress. Let's hear it. Well, it just reminded me of how of the bowl of goat's milk that old Winthrop used to put aside his own door every evening for the dust demons. He said the dust demons could never resist ghost milk, and they would always drink themselves into a stupor and then and then be too tired to enter his room. That way, he would never have to spend any of his time dusting because his room was always clean. 
genius, go on. It turned out that some... Mm, it turned out that dust demons gossip a lot, and their tale of Winthrop's nightly goat milk had spread so long... So along comes this three-armed Baylor. That's a longer story about why the Baylor... There's a longer story about why the Baylor uh, only had three arms, and besides the fact that he was nicknamed Smartmouth by the greater powers in the fist... Oh no, Emmett, what are you doing at two? Inner model, she's inner monologuing too. Oh god. Anyways, uh, uh, I won't get into that. Who uh, who flies in the candle keep in the middle of the night and storms his way over to Winthrop's cell and drinks the milk. The Baylor, however, had misheard the gossip and thought hmm, that he was drinking the milk of a pregnant uh Glabrizu. Don't ask me why. Well, he must have been very disappointed. And now I would have been. Indeed he was. He put up such a fuss and racket, pounding on the door to Winthrop's cell, that he woke up just about everyone in this keep, including Gorion, who usually slept pretty soundly and didn't wake up very well anyway. Well, Gorion was still groggy and thought the keep was under attack and just about blew the roof off with a series of fireballs and lightning bolts. He was so scared he cried like a baby. Oh, come on now. I don't blame him. Uncle Scratchy once did something similar with a, ba uh, a bad mixture of turnip stew and vinegar. The smell is probably worse. Ryan was terribly angry. He was grumbling and Z was bawling. People were running around everywhere. It was quite a scene. And they banned goat's milk from the keep, which meant that Winthrop had to dust his own room after that point and taught him a lesson about trying to get out of work as well. Hm. What happened to the Baylor? Oh, the, monk, uh, the monks bought him off with a tome of jokes about um, Bete, uh, Batezu. I hear he's been tutor, um, uh, touring the abyss ever since. Gets heckled a lot. But what do you expect for uh, or a comedian in hell? Hmm. All right. Yes, very good job there, lass. At least one turn of preference might be called for in the future. But all around, well done. I'll keep that in mind. Oh no! I just came here to find some turnips. I swear. Oh. You mentioned materials you need to uh, uh, you need to work. Do I have any what you need? Let me see what your belongings. Nope. Nothing. What do I need for this guy? 